Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday the 13th. <laughs> uh, August, Friday the 13th, 21. <laughs> this is a vloggy top video, so if you are looking for a crochet video, this is not it. <laughs> so skip this video if you want to. I don't care. It's okay. And if it if you do want to watch it, then watch it. <laughs> I look a little crazy. We have been gone all day long. We left this morning to take Jesse to school, and we've been gone ever since. <laughs> we came home uh, twice. After we dropped him off at school, we came home to grab something and then left, and then we were gone all day, and then at two something, we came back home to get Jesse's backpack, his other backpack packed up, because he's going to my mom's tonight. And then we had to go pick up Jesse and then take him to mom's, and we went to Norm or Devin's dad's house. And we finally got home. Devin had to go to work, he had to do overtime which is okay. He's supposed to be off tonight, but they asked him to come in. So anyways, like I said yesterday, this is a baby related video. <laughs> I had 100% intentions to make a really nice video to vlog throughout the day and um, edit it and make it look nice. <laughs> but uh, it was really hot today and we were running around and I was exhausted. <laughs> uh, I'm not even halfway pregnant yet. I'm, I'm getting there though, but I am so tired <laughs> already so um i didn't do what i had planned which was filming a lot today but that's okay we had to drive almost two hours to go to an ultrasound clinic um because it was the closest one to us that did gender ultrasounds early and um so we went <laughs> um i would have totally done this with jesse had i known it was a thing but we were so naive when we had jesse you know i didn't even know that you could tell the gender this early I'm 14 weeks, by the way, 14 two today. Um, and uh, so we went and it was a lot of fun. It took us forever to get there, but it was really nice driving through parts of Tennessee that we haven't been in before. It was in Hendersonville, which is on the north side of Nashville. It's really close to the Kentucky border. Um, so it was a long drive. We were on the highway, pretty much the highway there. So it was long and straight and just took forever. But um, we made it there. <laughs> Then it took us a minute to find the um, the place because it was in like a big strip mall or whatever full of other places. So uh, yeah, it took us a while. I'm so tired, oh my gosh. <laughs> but uh, and I feel like I look crazy, but I'm pregnant so I'm allowed to look crazy, I guess. But anyways, we went and the ultrasound place was really cute and I wish I had filmed while I was in there because they had it decorated really cute and um, they had like balloon letters everywhere. One that just said congratulations and one that said boy or girl. And I wish I had uh, taken pictures at least. But I just wasn't thinking about it. As soon as we got there, I had to take my shot because it's time for me to take my my shot that I have to take every day. And uh, we were the only people there, so we went back quickly. But, uh, yeah, see, I'm thinking now I should have taken photos, but I was just preoccupied at the time. I was too excited to hopefully find out gender. <laughs> um, we weren't able to find out with Jesse until I was 20 weeks. And I didn't want to wait that long because if I waited that long now, it would be towards the end of September that I w we would have found out. And we were impatient. We wanted to know. Anyways, long story. <laughs> we know the gender. That's one reason we were running around. After we drove two hours up there, we spent maybe 30 minutes there. And then two hours back, we did stop at Target coming through Mount Juliet, <laughs> which is where I go to Joanne's a lot. Um, I like that town. We came through there, we, we went to Target because we wanted to find a baby outfit that said uh, what it was. <laughs> and it took us a while to find one there, but we did find it and we actually ended up buying two outfits. <laughs> but, um, and then we had to drive all the way back home and then pick up Jesse from school and then take him to my mom's and then we told my mom. I video called my sister to tell her because we were gonna stop by her house, but we were running so late that we had to, I just had to video call her. And then after we took Jesse to my mom's, <laughs> Uh, cause now the only time he can go to her house is Friday nights. Um, we went to Devin's dad's and told them. So, whew, oh, that's everything. I think that's all the information I was supposed to say. But, for no further ado, I'm gonna tell y'all what it was. <laughs> so, oh, I'm so excited. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you guys ready? I'm gonna need all the crochet patterns you've ever made for this and suggestions. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. Are you ready? Ah, it's a girl. We're having a girl. I'm so excited. Look at this cute outfit. The pants say I love you. And it says little sister. This is what we were looking for. I knew that if it was a boy or girl, I wanted to find one that said little sister or little brother because of Jesse. Um, but it's a girl. So we got this one. This little outfit. And I got this one. It's so cute. Oh my god. 
it's this little princess and it's got the little mitts and little pants and it came with a little hat now none of these are newborn because jesse was a huge baby this one's zero to three and this one is three to six i believe because jesse was huge when he was born he was already in size two diapers and uh he was in zero to three and three to six month clothes he's a big baby he was nine pounds one ounce and he was chubby and adorable so i'm so excited we're having a girl <laughs> me and debbie both cried when they told us i knew um because when they do the ultrasound you know uh when she got to the potty shot which is what they call it where you see <laughs> all their stuff um i could tell because you know you can tell if it's a boy pretty pretty quickly with jesse we could and I looked over at the ultrasound lady and I said, is that a girl? <laughs> I said, is it a girl? And she said, are you ready? And then she said, it's a girl. And when she said that, the whole room turned pink. <laughs> there was like pink lights and it was so cool. I want to start a picture of the pink lights. Um, there's an ultrasound on the screen, but you can't really see what it is. So I'll also insert just a profile. We got a whole thing of pictures here. But it's this, it's the, like the profile. <laughs> I'll insert that so you can actually see it. But um, yeah, so we're having a daughter. We're having a little girl. I'm so excited. Devin bought this at um, Target. He said he had to buy something for her. So it's just a little lovey. Super soft. Got to put all this stuff in the closet. And then I bought a sleep sack. Because I love these with Jesse. And I bought one the other day at my thrift store. If you guys have seen that video. But it's got cars on it. Which is fine. Because it's for, you know, that's gender neutral enough. But this one's a girl one. So we bought a cute girl one. This is for 36 though. So this is bigger i love these things they saved my life with jesse because i didn't have to worry about him having a blanket and like smothering on it i just put him in a onesie and then in this and then at night it was easy to change his diapers um and he stayed warm because he had like a blanket but it was attached to him so it couldn't like come up over his face anyways we're having a girl i'm having a daughter <laughs> i can't believe that um we both cried when they told us and the whole way home we were just like, even now, I can't believe that it's a girl because I was so sure that it was a boy. Um, but it was a girl. It is a girl. It's in there. She was moving around a whole lot and kicking her little legs. And she kept touching her face and putting her hands up. And it's just, I just can't believe it's a girl. I'm so excited because there's going to be so many crochet things that I, we can make <laughs> or I can make. Because um, Devin can't crochet. <laughs> but he can do something else, I'm sure. But um, I can make so many cute little hats and booties and sweaters and things because uh, she's going to be born towards the end of January or the beginning of February and um, it's just exciting because it's going to be cold so I can use blankets and sweaters and hats and all that stuff I couldn't use it with Jesse because Jesse was born in May and down here in May it's hot <laughs> so I'm excited I'm so excited now I have to go edit my registry because <laughs> right now my my registry only has um, gender neutral things like a lot of gray and yellow. <laughs> so I'm going to go. I'm going to watch some Come On Girls. I already got pulled up right there. I'm watching it. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to edit my registry to have girl stuff. I'm so excited. But yeah, I'm so excited. I wanted to share that with you guys, the ones who are interested. I know a lot of you are interested in the baby stuff. So there you go. Now you know I'm having a girl. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm having a daughter. I'm going to have a daughter crazy her name if you want to know and I'm gonna insert this I don't need any negative opinions on the name because it's the name we already discussed and chose so it's it's her name it's gonna be her name but her name is gonna be Juniper Louise and then we can call her June or and, and my sister has been calling her June bug because she already figured it was a girl so she's been referring to the baby as June bug so yeah we're excited Louise is after my mom Juniper is loosely based after my brother because his his name is Jimmy, but he's named after my dad, so he's a junior, so we call him Junior. <laughs> and it's also, because um, I wanted to stick with Jay, because then Jesse. Had it have been a boy, we were going to name it James, so it would have been Jesse and James, and now it's just going to be Jesse and Juniper. <laughs> so uh, we wanted them to be similar. And speaking of Jesse, Jesse's excited. Uh, he said that he thought it was a girl. <laughs> and when we first told him that we were pregnant, um, he figured it was a girl. He's been, he's been saying girl. But he also said that he didn't care. He just want, he wants a little brother or a little sister is what he said. So he's super excited about it. And we're all excited about it. I can't wait. We got to for sure move out next year. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we, we will get a house next year because we're already working towards that. And uh, we're going to need a space because this is a really small apartment. And it's only a two bedroom. So we're going to need some space next year. So next year's main goal is going to have be have the baby and then get a house as quickly as possible afterwards 
so it's gonna be exciting. It's also a little terrifying because, you know, I had a son, so it's gonna be like re relearning how to parent because it's gonna be different, I think. <laughs> I don't know. But I wanted to get on here and share this with you guys. Now I'm going to go rest because I'm exhausted. Watch Gilmore Girls and update my registry. I'm gonna add so many pink things and so many cute things. I can't wait to uh, have a daughter. It's so crazy. I can't believe there's a little tiny baby in my stomach and it's a little girl. That's so crazy. She's about four inches big right now. I think that's head to rump. They don't count their legs yet. They don't count their legs until way later. And she's just in there moving around doing her thing. It's so crazy. She was moving a ton and like rolling around and stuff. It's so cute. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm excited. We're all happy here. We're all excited here. <laughs> so I wanted to share that with you guys because you are my friends and I wanted to share it with you all. Now, I'm going to go do that. I'm also going to get me a big old glass of water with ice in it. And probably some oranges or something to snack on. <laughs> I've been really loving uh, clementines, so I might get some of those and eat them. But I'm going to hop off here, and I'll catch you guys in another video soon about crochet. <laughs> and probably some more videos eventually about the baby. Because it's there and it's growing, so it's going to need to be talked about. <laughs> but anyways, I uh, appreciate all you guys, and I will see you in another video. Bye guys.